Civilian evacuations began from some of Ukraine's besieged areas on Tuesday amid renewed efforts to create safe routes from cities being bombarded by Russian forces. Passengers were seen waiting on buses in what is said to be the eastern city of Sumy, according to footage uploaded by Ukraine's deputy head for the president's office. It is the first evacuation from a Ukrainian city through a humanitarian corridor agreed with Russia. The convoy is bound for the city of Poltava, further to the west. The evacuation began hours after a Russian airstrike, which local authorities said killed 21 people. Reuters could not verify that report. Russia calls its actions in Ukraine a special military operation. Its defence ministry said on Tuesday corridors had been opened to evacuate residents from Kyiv, Chernihiv, Sumy, Kharkiv and Mariupol. It comes a day after Ukraine rejected Russian proposals to evacuate civilians to Russia or Belarus. A separate convoy was en route to Mariupol, the southern port city which has been encircled by Russian forces and subjected to relentless bombardment for a week. Officials say supplies there, including food and water, are running low. However, Ukraine accused Russian forces of shelling the proposed evacuation route. There were no immediate reports of any casualties and Russia did not immediately comment. Two humanitarian corridors from the city had already failed over the weekend, with both sides accusing each other of continuing to fire. The World Health Organization has confirmed that at least nine people have died in attacks on healthcare facilities. It did not say who was responsible. Here's the WHO's regional director for Europe, Dr. Hans Kluger. It should not need saying that health workers, hospitals and other medical facilities must never be a target at any time, including during crises and conflicts. To date, we have 16 confirmed reports of attacks on health in Ukraine and more are being verified. WHO strongly condemns these attacks on healthcare services. Over two million refugees have now fled Ukraine, the United Nations said, describing it as one of the fastest exoduses in modern times.